everybody, Deborah here, also known as Doobage42, with just a little bit of demonstration education kind of thing today about diabetes. Hello, yes, the D word is back. As you see here, I've got an alcohol swab in between my fingers because I opened it up forgetting I was going to record. And uh, first thing I want to do is swab off the place where my pump site is going to go this time. This time, we're going to do the back of the arm in the soft spaces there. I kind of wipe bigger than where I hit because you never know where I'm going to go. I'm kind of random that way. The next thing I want to do is uh, get the pump ready. Now it has gone down to zero. You take out just a little twist and pull and a little vial comes out of there. Notice it is pushed all the way to the end and it is empty. I'm going to push the button that says rewind after I choose it on there. And it wants to know, are you disconnected? Really? I'm disconnected. Listen, well, that looks weird. Uh, but you can kind of hear the motor running and it's rewinding as I do it. I usually set that aside and let it do its thing. Oh, by the way, the thing that goes into you and stays there for a few days is not a big scary thing at all. The biggest and scariest thing is the adhesive. Kind of come in for a close up here. See this little flexible plastic doohickey? There's a needle that pushes it in and then you just leave it there. You don't even feel this. You know what you do feel? The sticky stuff. This stuff is sticky. Ah. That beeping sound means it rewound. Pay attention to me. But I'm not ready to pay attention yet. First, let's get the insulin ready, okay? This is the reservoir. I call it the vial thingy, but you know, it's technically called a reservoir. And I use the reservoir that holds 300 units. That lasts me almost three days at my basal rates and how much I bolus. But there you go. You take it out of its little sterile package. You can feel all official now. You've opened a sterile package. I like to loosen the back of this guy first. Untwist it just a smidge because sometimes it gets stuck and then you have a hard time pulling it off. But you see, you pull it out so that it's got all that air in there ready to go into the insulin vial itself. By the way, there's a pokey thing in there that goes into the bottle. Oh, Humalog, you are my friend. I'll hold it up here. Normally I don't hold it up high, but I'm trying to show the camera here. Humalog, notice there is a liquid in there. Ding a ding ding. Push that sucker onto the lid. I like to watch the bubbles go up, so I do it this way. Push that air into there so that there's room in the reservoir to put the insulin in. If I can get my big hands out of the way, you can see it filling up. It's not a zippy fast process. It does take a few seconds. But basically, you want to fill it as much as you can go. Then, you squish the air out the top. Give it a tap. Bring some more in there, because I want it full, by gosh, full. Had an air bubble annoying me there. Okay, now untwist it, pull that right out. Ta-da, this little guy is almost ready to go. We also want to take this off. This will not fit in the pump. I've tried. It just doesn't work. Now with the reservoir kind of ready to go and do its thing, we need to get into this guy here. The Medtronic Mio. This is how it all gets sort of installed on you. I mean, I'm kind of like a Borg now. you got, you know, electronic parts. So let's try to open this sucker up. First, you find the back with the red thing. I'm sure it has a name. Everything's got a damn name, but I don't know what it is. 
trash. And more trash. We have broken the hermetically sterile seal. Pop that top off, but keep it handy. You'll want it for later. Then I start unwinding the tubing. Ah, uh, the lovely tubing that gets attacked by doorknobs, drawer pulls, and anything else that might stick out and get in the way. That gets grabbed by me when I'm trying to adjust the top of my dress and I almost pull it out. Yeah, that's a thing. Woo, nice long bit of tubing there. Then you push down on the plunger. I don't know why I just made that voice. I like to get this out of the way now. See this little blue guy here? That's covering a needle. There. Now you can see that's, that's the needle. That little thing way down in there. Not very scary. I'll put this in the trash pile. And there's adhesive. So you have to remove what's protecting the adhesive. It's like a swirly cover to a band-aid. That's all that is. If you're to touch that right now, you'd get sticky. I don't want to get sticky. Not yet. You do have to put the reservoir onto this little guy here. You push it in, you give it a little turn, and it's kind of got a groove it goes into. Then you snap it right in there. That is going to stay put. Oh, huh. good save. Now it's time to do more things with the pump. It says, rewind complete, place and lock reservoir in pump, then press act. You're always pressing act on this pump, by the way. That's like the go button for everything. You twist it in there. Of course, I'm going to twist the pump because I'm holding everything in one hand. It snaps in, has a nice little secure hold. You press act and it says, are you disconnected? This part's actually pretty important. I would just scroll down to yes. Now listen, hear that difference in the beep? That tells you it says fill tubing, hold act to fill tubing. Now I'm gonna hold it down here. You'll hear the beeps. Cause at the top, I have to wait for the drips to come out. Now this thing usually holds about eight or nine units or so. Yeah, the tubing holds a lot. Good beeps can't dance to it. There we go. Got drips on there. I don't think they came across on camera very well, but seriously, it was dripping out. 8.2 units. Says, check for drops. We did that. Press escape if done. Did you see drops at the end of the tubing? Why, yes, I did. Scroll to yes. Now, fill cannula. Connect set to body, act to fill, or escape to skip. I'm going to tuck this away for a minute so that it's not in my way. What that means is this cannula that's going to go in here um, may not have, have, it's not primed yet. It takes about a half a unit to fill it. So what I'm going to do is, little grooves there where you can put the, the tubing so it's not in your way. Little places for your fingers to squeeze and to launch this sucker. I'm gonna put it right back here. I'm not used to looking at it to do it. Get a nice spot. Make sure you got a good grip. Squeeze. You want it to both go down at once. It didn't, so I'm hoping that it's set properly. Pull that out. Make sure that all your sticky stuff is down. Run your fingernail around it. Just touch it. Make sure it's set. Now, there it is. There's the pump. Act to fill. And it blinks the 0.5, the half a unit. And then it starts filling and it'll beep when it's done. It doesn't go zoom, zoom super fast. It goes at about the same rate that your normal delivery goes. 0 0.3, 0 0.4. Okay, I said 0 0.4 too soon. 0.4. And there is 0.5. Ta-da, it's done. 
I can put this part away now. Now the way I usually do it, run it underneath up the sleeve. It lives in the top of the bra. It's happy there. And I just tuck down the tubing as I get ready to go. Now, what to do with the rest of it? Now that that's all done and we're just cranking and ready to go for the rest of the day, we gotta put it away properly. That's why I said, don't throw this little guy away. Got a little hole, a little place right for where that pointy thing goes in. Boom, it is sealed up now. Somebody can't accidentally get themselves stuck on it. That's really about the extent of it. I'll throw all of this away. It's not really made for recycling, you know, not like we can go recycle all these things at our local recycling center. They'd probably freak out. Although, you know what? Huh. It does have a recycling symbol on there. Glasses off. It's an 05. The plastic on it is a 05. So if you have 05 recycling in your area, you can recycle the plastic bit. Who knew? I didn't know. But that is changing a pump site. I usually do it a lot quicker when I'm not trying to explain it as I go. But let me tell you, when I first started doing it, oh boy, was I slow. I had the booklet out. I was following it step by step. Even though I was trained on it, doing it on my own the first time, I was nervous. I didn't want to accidentally give myself 300 units of insulin. That would suck. Um, I didn't want to screw up. Well, now it's kind of old hat. I, I do it all the time. I can do it while I'm at work on the phone. I'm kind of going to get people hearing stuff beeping. And they're like, what is that? Oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's just my beeper. <laughs> but that's how it's done. A lot of people wear pumps now, a lot of diabetics. Actually, I was at one of those sort of 24-hour diners the other night with a friend. And it was late. It was uh, 1030 at night. I had arrived kind of late. And we were, um, you know, eating our late dinners. I know it's bad to eat that late, but whatever. This family came in, a uh, little boy, I'm bad at ages. He was probably eight-ish, seven-ish. Little girl who was a little older and mom and dad. And uh, little boy had a pump riding on his hip, you know, on his belt there. And his was blue, just like mine, only blue. And I thought that was kind of cool. So I showed him, I said, mine's purple. I said, you got a blue one. He said, yep, I do. And then his dad pulls his out of his pocket and says, and mine's gray. So yeah, apparently type one runs in that family. Um, I'm a type two, but I've been wearing pump now for a couple of years. So yeah, it's definitely a daily part of my life. But insulin dependent diabetics are all over the place. So hey, if you ever see one of those things, now you know. It's an insulin pump. Don't be scared. Don't try to take it away from them. They'll probably hurt you for it. And uh, just know that that is sort of a life-saving piece of equipment for some of us. It really is. Hope you enjoyed watching me poke myself with that little thing. It didn't hurt. It's more startling because you can hear it go off than anything else. Um, if you have any questions, hey, comment down below. I'd love to answer them. And also, I know that I have some diabetic friends who watch these videos. Please comment. Let me know what your experience is. Are you thinking about getting a pump sometime? It actually does not suck. It's better than giving shots in my experience, in my opinion. I get better control with it. But I hope you've liked this, my take regarding my health and my diabetes. I don't know what all this jazz hands are about today. Uh, <laughs> this Thursday. Please come back and see me soon. I'll have some more of my takes up here. How about subscribe down here if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye.